Uh, Joanna said she was one pound overweight today. Where are you right now? I'm four pounds over. So we are pretty close. How did the rest of your camp go? Because I know you finished off your camp, camp in Maine. How did that all go training over there? Mm, yes, it was very nice because um, it's uh, the same climate, the same atmosphere, and more it's like very quiet place where we go in Maine, so not much distraction. You are just focusing on what you have to do, your trainings, and like it was a very great uh, training camp, not just because of um, trainings, but also uh, of atmosphere and mental work. I think it was the best one. Yeah, and I'm sure training with Chris Cyborg as well before that, giving you a nice boost heading into this one. Yes, of course, every training with everyone, it gives some extra plus. And you are like, uh, your victory is how many pluses you have in your um, in your bag, you can say like this. So, uh, I'm ready, I'm ready. You were training with your sister there. Uh, shin pads in close. That was Joanna's range. You, have you done a lot of work in that range, uh, knowing that's her favorite? Uh, this is our like special, not special, but I, I can say I can say it's like typical work. What we are doing, was doing and doing right now in the all countries of post Soviet Union. It's like uh, warming up exercises, and of course I was training a lot with my sister, with Antonina, because she's number one striker. And training with her, I don't know who else can compete with her. And Alexander, it feels like you've gotten this kind of a lot of different times over here. Your workouts even wins, and then something will happen the days before. This one feels different though, it doesn't feel like the really anything like that to worry about. Is, that, is it the same for you? Does this feel, you feel pretty confident? Uh, for me, it's the same. I feel the same. It's like, uh, because uh, all that last time, I was uh, feeling like, okay, it's happening, it's happening. But you know, uh, my last fight, what didn't happen, I was like half and half. But more, um, my opponent could convince everyone that it will happen, but looks like it was just uh, words in air and nothing to be. Valentina. She know it's not make sense. It doesn't work with me. So, what for to waste time and better to spend it on the train? She also can't physically bully you. Sometimes she likes to physically bully her opponents, so she can't bully you. Do you think she will try to move her feet more and pick from the outside? What do you expect? I expect from her like a lot of movement, a lot of distance of the like, and try to um, even not touch me, but with uh, her kicks, hits, like throw into the air, just uh, um, to show. Um, Active work, and this is what I am expecting from her on this fight. Uh, size advantage, um, maybe not much, because our first face off showed that we don't have too much. I don't have too much advantage physically, um, because I think our uh, work weight when we are not fighting is pretty the same as mine in 135. Of course, I think it's somewhere close, but of course. Um, the uh, fact that I was competing in Bantam Blade successfully, I was competing for the belt, I was competing number one in Bantam Blade, it means, of course, it gives me some advantage. Well, you said you're happy this fight is taking place in Canada. What is it about Canada that, that this is right to have this fight? I don't know. It's something can, you cannot explain. And uh, when we arrived here uh, this last Saturday, uh, Sunday, this Sunday, and uh, we just um, straight ahead after the training went to Lake, uh, Lake Ontario and was like walking and it was so uh, peaceful, so quiet, so nice and I just, um, I cannot explain it by words but I just feel, I just feel it. Are you going to Niagara Falls? Last week, week, did that, does that give you a little bit of a boost heading into your fight? Did you her get her first UFC It gave me like extra motivation and extra uh, push for me because our goal it was uh, first we do, do uh, we are we are doing our training camp then we are going to she fight and she win then I fight I win and then we celebrate everything. Are you going so, to Niagara Falls on Sunday? You're going we to are Niagara Falls. Yeah. Have you consulted Rose in the preparation for the Yoano fight? 
Uh, of course, of course, we were training. Uh, like uh, I was preparing for a fight with Juliana Pena, and we were training like uh, entire training camp with Rose. Of course, it's like it's everything works. So for each other, so mine, uh, mine techniques and what like we are doing on our trainings, it was helping to Rose, and uh, the same like from, from her training camp, it was helping me. So uh, I don't see um, any trainings. Doesn't matter with who going like just from two other side, one side I mean. So you are helping someone and uh, he or she doesn't help it. I, I see it's working like it's going uh, interchange for everyone. The same that we are was doing this place is the same. One more question guys. Not much. Everything that I can visualize is uh, uh, what I will do during the fight because it's not like some kind of dreams because I'm not a person who is dreaming about something. No. I just think it, okay, if uh, the fight will go by this way, what I will do? If it starts to go this way, what I can do? This way. So I pick in different situations and I'm starting to think how we react. This is my unique visualizer. Thanks everyone.